Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tanu Stylies. In this vlog, I'm taking you to Los Cabos or Cabo in Mexico. I'm going to show you what I did, where I stayed, and some very important tips and tricks of travel. So stay tuned. This is the beautiful resort I stayed at. It's called La Pacifica by Hilton. Check it out. As soon as I checked in, I got my welcome drink and I started walking towards my room. Right here, you can see what the beautiful ocean facing room looks like. A very useful travel tip is that you check in on a Sunday and you look for five day deals. That's the best way to go about it. This resort had two options, all inclusive and otherwise. I would always recommend not to go with an all inclusive unless you want to stay at the resort and not explore. Also, an all-inclusive deal turns out to be very expensive, especially if you don't drink or eat that much. Cabo has many beautiful beaches. The culture is extremely rich, especially in art and food. Everything in Cabo, everywhere, is priced in US dollars. So make sure you carry cash, especially in smaller denominations. What you're seeing here is the tour of the resort. The resort has several restaurants. Some of them require reservations, some of them don't. The food at this resort was amazing. Each and every restaurant had its own specialty and there were so many different cuisines. One important thing to remember is as soon as you land at the airport, you will be swarmed by people who would want to help you with a hotel or maybe a taxi. I think the best way to go about it is ask your hotel for a shuttle because since you are in a new country, you do not know anything. That's the safest and you will get the best price. So I love exploring a new place. I love to travel to different cities, to different markets, experience the culture, meet the people, try their food. If you are one of those, you need to check with the hotel concierge and know where you have to go. What you're seeing here is San Lucas. It is known for a lively nightlife. It has a marina. It has several shopping options, luxury boutiques and tourist souvenir shops. Experience the bliss of street shopping in San Lucas and you will love it. And once you're done shopping, do try their exclusive Mexican restaurants. The next day, I went to San Jose. San Jose is known for its colonial charm, art galleries and golf courses. And the restaurants there are mind-blowing. Do you see how lively, how beautiful and how well decorated this place is? Oh my god, I just loved it. You can actually pick the type of cuisine you want to taste because they have amazing drinks, every kind of cuisine and so, so yummy. Do not forget to pick up a cool souvenir. I picked up the famous Mexican hat. 
you can find art in every nook and corner of this place and being an artist myself it was such a blissful experience if you're craving indian food there are loads of indian food options too so you just need to search it on the internet and go to the place make that effort to get up early morning and check out the sunrise the scenic highway that connects Cabo San Lucas to San Jose de Cabo offers a pleasant panoramic view of the Sea of Cortez and this is known as the Golden Corridor. Now what you're seeing here is a different resort. It's called the Marquee and it's an only all-inclusive adult resort. I came here for a birthday celebration and I stayed for a night. Check out the rooms, they are amazing. If you come to a resort in a big group of friends or family and you're just there to stay and celebrate, I think all-inclusive is the best way to go because then you don't have to worry about food or any other excursions. You just want to stay, relax, eat and drink. An all-inclusive resort typically means that everything there is included. Any kind of drink, snack, food at any point of time. So it makes life pretty convenient and easy. The restaurants are open, there's room service 24-7. So you know you can just order food or drink whenever you want to. Resorts usually have a lot of uh, fun activities, cultural programs, shows, so that everybody enjoys and doesn't get bored. So that's a fun fact. And they have some very exclusive restaurants for parties, for private parties, which you have to make a previous reservation. Um, whenever you visit Kabul, make sure you plan a boat trip to the Arch. It is worth every penny that you spend because the experience is beautiful. So right here what you're seeing is the marina and I'm getting on the boat with my group to visit the arch. Uh, you will see a few glimpses of the arch too. You can either uh, book a full boat for yourself if the group is large or you can share. All the reservations can be made online. I'm sharing a few links here so that you know where to go just in case you want to go through the same activities that I did. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.